Canada. I came to New Haven in the fall of 2020 to pursue my PhD, and I've been attending Trinity for about a year now. My parents were Christian, so I grew up attending church from a young age. As a child, I wasn't confident in my salvation, and I accepted Christ numerous times. The final time I accepted Christ was when I was nine, so I consider this to be when I truly accepted God's grace and his gift of salvation for me. I acknowledge that Jesus died on the cross so my sins could be forgiven, and recognized that this was a gift that couldn't be taken away from me. Around this age, I also became more aware that my parents fought a lot, and I learned to accept that my dad had a bad temper. When I entered middle school, I developed severe allergies and chronic congestion that made everyday breathing difficult. Medication didn't control my symptoms, so I was often sick. During this time, my dad directed a lot of his temper towards my brother, who was in high school at the time, and would regularly make degrading comments about him, which fueled my own social anxiety. After my brother left for college, my relationship with my father became more violent. My struggles culminated in my sophomore year of high school. During this time, my health problems peaked, which led me to struggle academically. My poor relationship with my father led to my other relationships and corresponded with the height of my social anxiety. And to top it off, my grandma, with whom I was close with, passed away. However, through God's grace, I made it through sophomore year, unafraid to face difficult circumstances, and my social anxiety also slowly began to improve. By God's provision, I was able to attend an out-of-state college, which allowed me to leave my abusive home situation. The biggest testament of God's grace to me during this time is that even before I realized I was broken, He healed me emotionally and spiritually. While I previously thought I had an antisocial personality, I learned that I actually enjoyed laughing and connecting with during this time, I also struggled with resentment towards God because my physical ailments prevented me from pursuing my passions. But I learned to praise and thank God for every situation through which we can experience Him. While I have not experienced the miraculous healing that some have, I have learned to better manage my symptoms and have experienced a drastic improvement in quality of life. Most importantly, I am filled with His joy in all circumstances. I came to New Haven during the peak of the pandemic and was diagnosed with a painful chronic disorder last year. In spite of these difficulties, however, God continues to fill me with his peace and joy and surround me with the love and encouragement of my fellow brothers and sisters at Trinity. 2 Corinthians 1, 3-5 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. Likewise, I hope to share the grace and comfort that I have been shown in Christ with those around me, and look forward to serving God with you. together in Christ, that we would continue to grow together 